Seat Sorona is a small SUV with an important role to play in the Spanish maker's model lineup. Sophisticated underpinnings make possible a more spacious cabin and a more engaging driving experience than most rivals can offer. And across the range, this car has a sense of style that its fashionable clientele should like. With its only slightly larger Attica SUV, uh, Seat has already shown it can produce a compact crossover with class-leading standards of ride and handling. And if you come to this car in search of a slightly smaller crossover of that kind, you'll find that the Arona continues that strong showing. If you happen to be familiar with rivals in the small SUV segment, you may well notice that the steering here is more direct, uh, the corner turning is more precise, and that body roll is rather better controlled. Credit for much of this can be given to the stiff, sophisticated MQB A0 platform that this model shares with the fifth generation Ibiza Super Mini that's based on. That's not to say that it feels in any way really sporty. No car in this segment is. Uh, so its preference has been to set the Arona up for the low speed traffic jinking needs of the urban jungle. And sure enough, it feels right at home in that environment with its great all round sight lines and its tight turning circle. As for engines, well, most will choose the likeable one-litre TSI turbo petrol variant we're trying here. This three-cylinder power plant is primarily offered in 95 PS guys, but there is also a 115 PS variant if you want a little more power, a six-speed manual gearbox, and the option of DSG auto transmission. Either way, in a one-litre TSI Arona, 57.6 mpg is possible on the combined cycle and around 111 grams per kilometre of CO2. Also pretty frugal is the pokiest option in the lineup, a 150 PS four cylinder 1.5 litre TSI Evo petrol variant, which features cylinder deactivation technology. A couple of minority interest 1.6 litre TDI diesel units developing either 95 or 115 PS also make the team sheet. The Arona, says Sat transcends age barriers. Well, not sure about that. The truth is that it's very obviously targeted at the younger folk driving sales in the segment. Although there's also enough boxy practicality here to interest more adventurous small families too. Uh, these people will see at a glance that the Arona is a more versatile proposition than the Ibiza Super Mini it's based on. It's 79 mils longer and 99 millimeters taller than that car. Uh, from the side, what would otherwise be a square, rather unremarkable profile is enlivened by these two almost arbitrary uh, upper coachwork slashes just below the glass line and plenty of crossover trinketry, most obviously this contrast coloured roof. Now while other makers in this sector have merely dabbled with that concept, Sayat has wholeheartedly embraced it, standardising that feature for those who want it and offering customers orange, black or as in this case grey colour options. And inside, well, if you like the funky attitude of the exterior, you might be a bit disappointed to find that little of that's been carried over into the cabin, which is virtually identical to the rather conservative interior you'll get in the Ibiza, although you do set a little higher. What's not up for debate is the quality of what's provided here, though. That's something nicely complemented by the classy glass-fronted 8-inch infotainment screen that most models get. As well as usual uh, Bluetooth and DAB tuner, this incorporates 3D navigation navigation, voice recognition, and say it's full-length smartphone mirroring system. Let's take a seat in the rear. Now, offhand, we can't remember ever being in a small car with as much ceiling space as this one. Six-foot adults who might normally grumble at the prospect of long-distance rear seat confinement in any super mini base model need have no worries about the prospect of riding in this one. Finally, let's take a look at luggage space out back. Uh, the rear hatch opens to reveal 400 litres of it. The dual height boot floor that you have to pay extra for in most Ibiza models is standard here. Need more room. Uh, push the backrest forward and 823 litres of space is revealed. And overall, well, we love the fact that the buying public has rejected the collective wisdom of most so-called motoring experts and bought into cars like this one in their droves. People Power has produced this kind of product. And if you've been a part of that, we reckon you'll like this end result.